everyone, my name is Emma aka Flares and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a speed build of Poppy's Yard. As you can see I've already started work over here on my island on the right hand side to Poppy's house. I just created this cute little dining area, this waterfall and I started off on the path. But my main goal today is to work on this area, the area outside of Poppy's Yard. I have kind of a plan I want to do her a little strawberry field with these pansies oh there she is the queen herself good morning poppy how are you thank you nutty um and kind of tie in some reds to match with her door as you can see her house there so we're gonna see how it goes hopefully that works out ignore my mad tulip growth over here that shouldn't affect the build so I'm going to start off um, and tie in this path so it kind of loops around so I'll start off that and then I'll bring you back when it's done
Okay guys, so I've started working on the strawberry field. Um, I'm quite happy with how it's turned out so far. Um, we've mixed it up with the buds of the pansies, some weeds, um, and some bushes here. Which we, which bushes are they? Uh, I can't remember. Um, but I just want that so it gives it a bit of depth. Um, then we stuck a stool back here so that Poppy can prepare her strawberries weigh them, cut them up, um, I've got a red hand cart which I just thought was a nice addition just so that the red flowed through um, and then I've just put a bench down here with some farmy related stuff and obviously the garden faucet so that kind of all flows. I'm a bit stuck with what to put here because of the way the cliff goes, I don't know whether maybe I need to edit that and bring it out a bit. Um, oh, it still doesn't look quite right. Um, yeah, maybe if I bring it all the way out, that might help. Um, and I'm not sure what to put at the side of her house. I like to put barrels at the side of the house because I feel like it kind of creates the idea that it's like the storage, the outdoor storage um, for the cards. Um, but yeah, I've got a gnome there for now. That might stay there, that might not. I've not decided. Um, my next idea is to work on a little seating area for her, just in this little area here. I've got some a rocking chair, which I definitely want to use because I think that's adorable. The idea of your little villager just sat there in drinking their coffee or whatever on a rocking chair is just super cute. So I'm definitely going to try and use that. So... Once I've figured that out, I shall come back to you.
Okay guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here because I don't want the video to be too long. Um, but we've done the area immediately outside Poppy's house and we've done the strawberry garden. So I'll just give you a little bit of a run through. Obviously these areas are just do some transitional bits like flowers and stuff like that just to make it pretty but we've so we've got the garden here the, the rose what am I on about the strawberry patch with the pansies and I've added some little details which kind of fit with it um, as I said before I've mixed up the kind of different things just to give it a bit more detail we've got the garden faucet which there we go let's turn on okay there we go uh the watering can i've added the rattan basket down here just because it's a basket so kind of got in my head that they were off to pick the strawberries with the basket and then we've done her little seating area with the little red elements so we've got the red simple kettle the red tulip and the book and a coffee uh cup for her and then i just added the little log stool here i've got bird bath um and then i managed to add the plant onto the barrel so let me know what you guys think um I hope maybe it's given you some ideas for your island but i'm quite happy with it i think it suits poppy's vibes quite well so as usual guys please remember to like and subscribe leave a comment below i will definitely respond to you and that's it for today so goodbye